Hi, I'm Megan with the Group VBS team, and today we're going to talk about the exploding paint experience on day five in Sail Away Send Off. Now I know what you're thinking, exploding paint in my church? No way. But with a few precautions, you can still create an experience that is a huge wow for your kids. So let's get started. Here's what you'll need to create your exploding paint experience. Your first step is to create the power packs. You'll use baking soda, one tablespoon, a fourth a teaspoon, and one ply napkins that you've cut into about three by four or three and a half inches by four and a half inches. So I'll show you how to create those now. You're gonna just take one of those uh, pre-cut napkins and scoop in some baking soda. And you're gonna try and get that as much in the center as you can. And then you'll take your fourth. Now I don't always fill up my fourth of a teaspoon all the way, um, just cause sometimes it doesn't quite fit in the power pack then. But then you're just gonna fold that in and try and create just a little packet. And you're gonna create however many power packets you need for how many um, baggies of paint that you're gonna be exploding. So at Field Test, we did six, but if you have a larger VBS, you might wanna do more. So I'm gonna continue filling those up here. Now that our power packets are made, we're gonna create our vinegar mixture. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a microwavable cup and put one cup of vinegar in there. So I'm just gonna pour that out. In there. And then you're gonna add your food coloring. Now we use gel food coloring, so we're just gonna squeeze in a little bit in there and stir that up and then what you'll do so that the gel food coloring will dissolve is you'll microwave it. We microwaved it for about 45 seconds, that's the temperature that we found, but your microwave might be a little bit different. You don't have to get it too hot, just enough for the food coloring to dissolve. The final step to preparing your exploding paint packets is to put the heated up vinegar and dye mixture into a plastic bag and you can have one of your volunteers do this while you're starting the sail away send off. So what they'll do is they will go ahead and pour it into the plastic bag. Now one thing I might do just to make it a little bit easier and cleaner is I might go ahead and put in my Dawn dish soap and I'm doing half a teaspoon. I'm going to go ahead and put that into the cup and stir that up before I put it into the bag. And that just makes it a little bit simpler for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to pour that right into the baggie. Now we have found the cheapest baggies that we could find. Um, and that's what you're really looking for. So go to your dollar store, go to um, anywhere where you can just find the cheapest bags you can. Go ahead and close that up tight and put that in a tray where you can carry it into your sail away send off leader. And I'm gonna repeat that with my other cups that I've already microwaved. Now that our exploding paint is prepped and ready, let's go into the sanctuary and see how to set up your area. So here we are in one of our conference rooms here at Group, and I wanted to show you just a few of the precautions that we took to make sure that we don't leave any paints in our wake. So what I did first was, before I even put the table down, I actually laid down a blue tarp right there. So that's underneath my table, and then I laid some a painter's canvas drop cloth on top of that. Then I put my table in place, and on top of my table, I have just a cheap 
plastic um, shower curtain liner. You can find that at the dollar store or uh, anywhere that sells things like that. We created our waterfall with the white butcher paper. So this is where we're gonna set our paint when it's gonna explode. Um, just to protect a few more areas, I got some more of these painter's drop cloths. You can find these at any of your local um, hardware stores or paint stores, things like that, and they're pretty inexpensive, but they cover a large area and they make for great cleanup. One of the last precautions that you can take to make sure that your exploding paint stays where it's supposed to is to grab some friends, volunteers, crew leaders, and have them come up and hold large pieces of cardboard, um, maybe leftover foam, foam core from decorating, and they're just there to catch any sprays that might go a little bit wide. So now that we're ready, let's explode some paint. So when you're ready to explode your paint, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab one of those bags with the vinegar dye mixture, you're gonna open it up, and you're gonna drop in one of your power packs. And then you're gonna seal it up as fast as you can, getting out as much air as you can quickly. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do them all at once. So can, if you have volunteers that can help you do this, that is great. And you wanna make sure that the bag is sealed. And part of the excitement of this experiment is the anticipation. So the kids are just going crazy right now as they're waiting to see which one is gonna explode first. Make sure that they're all sealed. And you wanna make sure that you're putting the, um, the zipper out towards the crowd. So there goes one. We have one more here. All right, we have two filling up. Where are they gonna go? Woo! Two more, oh, there goes one. And our yellow one is left. And you can do as many of these bags as you want and feel comfortable with. And there you have it, an experience that is sure to wow your kids at Shipwrecked VBS.